Hi, my name is Dr. John DeYard. I want to talk to you today about the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, specifically from fish oils, which are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. DHA known for supporting brain health, EPA great for supporting heart and skin health. The combination seems to be a great potent support. This came from years of research of people in the Arctic and they would eat lots of raw, super oily fish. The more oil they had, the more they could resist the cold and not freeze to death. So these high, uh, high very viscous uh, essential fatty acids seem to support heart health, and this has been studied and documented for many, many, many years now. Studies even show that your longevity can increase by up to 85% if you actually stay on a regular dose of EPA, DHA, fish oil. So it's just kind of phenomenal. The more that you read about the research, it supports healthy uh, mood health, healthy heart health, uh, great joint health. It supports mental health, cognitive function, memory. It actually helps you know, support um, IQ levels and, and intelligence. It actually even affects the brain size and supports people's brain size to be healthier. When people get deficient, their brain, literally, the volume can become smaller, and, and, and that's not great. We talked about that with B12, too. B12 can make the brain a little bit smaller, and so can lack of good essential fatty acids. These are all you know, really, really important things. So much of the brain is fat, particularly about 8% of it is essential fatty acids, so it's very important to support the brain from that perspective. The problem is that if you were an Eskimo, for example, eating lots of these fish, they're slimy, greasy fish. Some of it's going to get broken down in your stomach. Some of it's going to get broken down by your liver and gallbladder. But a lot of that slimy oil is going to go into your gut and lubricate and heal your intestinal wall. Those villi love a good quality essential fatty acids. The problem is that most of us have weak digestions. We don't break down foods that well. We're all not eating wheat and dairy. Greasy fried food's a deal breaker. Our digestion has gotten south. Our ability to digest good essential fatty acids and deliver them into the heart and into the brain and into the skin has been compromised. So we don't digest good, we don't get the essential fatty acids, our brain sort of starts to shrink and we begin to have trouble, heart issues and things like that become to be a problem. Our skin gets older and wrinkles faster, uh, our joints become Become, you know, concerns. So these are issues that may be supported by optimal, uh, you know, dosages of good EPA, DHA, omega-3 fatty acids. Now, you always got to make sure they're molecularly distilled and they're purified. Each batch has to be tested. You got to make sure of that. That's really important because our oceans are polluted. But that's very easy to do now, and that's done on a regular basis, so make sure that's happening. You want to make sure you get high doses of EPA and DHA. EPA and DHA, on average, should be about 2,000 to 2,500 milligrams per day. Now, most, if you look on the label, sometimes they'll say, well, I got 200 milligrams per capsule of EPA, 200 milligrams of DHA. My total is 400, but it's a 1,500 milligram capsule. What's the rest of that oil? Sort of this unknown fish oil, possibly sludge of some kind. You don't want that. You want a very efficient capsule product, which means that you have a very high amount of the EPA and DHA per capsule and not a lot of extra oils in that capsule. So you want to make sure when you look at the label that that's the case. Also, studies have now shown that there's new techniques called natural enteric coating which allows the fish oils, the high quality EPA and DHA, to bypass your stomach and your gallbladder and go right to your gut as potent sources of EPA and DHA. If you sort of break it down or it stalls in your stomach and digestion, you don't deliver that oil as well as it could. So when you have a good quality natural enteric coat, which is what I support, you end up having higher quality, higher amounts of that oil getting into your gut healing the intestinal villi, supporting intestinal villi health, and supporting lymphatic health around the intestinal tract, then also getting into your blood and supporting skin health, brain health, and heart health, which is where all the studies show the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. In fact, when you do take a naturally enteric coated fish oil, you don't have to take as much because you're actually delivering it where you want it to go. And that's because it's sort of been pre-broken down. When the Eskimo is eating a whole fish, raw fish, they've got to break down all these oils into the EPA and DHA and then deliver it into the heart. And because they eat so much of it, they do that quite naturally. But nowadays, we can't eat the fish out of the oceans because 
you know, they, every test that's been done of fish coming out of any ocean or stream has shown to be toxic with mercury, half of them over the legal limit. So we're really limited to how much fish we can eat safely. So we have to think about other sources of those very important nutrients that we always had and now don't have. So a naturally, naturally enteric coated, molecularly distilled, high concentrated, not a lot of sludge in the capsule, fish oil is where you want to be shooting for 1,800 to about 2,500 milligrams of the combination of EPA and DHA in each capsule or in the dose for the day, and you're good to go. Thank you for listening. Please check out my website, the article associated with this video. I write more about and give you some more details about some of the studies done on omega-3 fatty acids from cold water Arctic fish. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.